we are on another fire of the season. It's August and there's a lot of fires. We're gonna get some water. Like that truck over there is filling up. Oftentimes we fill up in streams or ponds, but in this case, the fire came really close to this town, Warm Springs, Oregon. And we're filling up at their sawmill with an overhead fill. So as soon as he's done, we'll pull up in there and fill this truck. That's our sight glass or a plastic tube. Water level's right there. That's filling it up. This is the water pump driven by hydraulics. That is ran off the engine up there. So the engine turns that pump, which in turn spins this. And then the water sprays out here for water and roads, and that's what we're doing today, water and roads. We'll use these sprayers and those are under pressure. We also have what's called a gravity dump, which is under there. And that's just gravity, it opens a valve with the air and the water just comes out there, which is easier. So this is a draft hose in case there's no other alternative to get water with pumps and such. We can pump it ourselves by using this pump and this here. So we're gonna fill this up, then we're gonna head out. I'm gonna go right through town where the fire came. What we're doing is we're re basically repairing all, all the roads that have been messed up by all the traffic that's loud here. Over here, a truck's getting loaded. This truck, this truck is an international. These are the valves here that run the sprayers. This is the hydraulic, pull that forward and you can activate those sprayers. This is actually an automatic, no clutch, in Allison. And it has 10 speeds, has a low range, and then the gear shift. It's really easy to operate. I prefer a 10 speed or a 13 speed, however, but this is what we got. So we took the seat out so I could put more stuff in there. Buck Dude's t shirt over there. So we'll fill it up and now it's up to here just since we've been talking. So we'll fill it up and go water some roads. Still a bunch of smoke from the fire. I have been put on the road detail which means I'll be watering roads which is pretty awesome. A lot of times you get to stay quite a while on the fire because the roads need to be fixed because of all the fire traffic. So we make sure the road gets wet for the grader that grades it. We'll see what that's about in a few minutes. See the fire came down the hill right to those people's houses. Really close. Only a few structures were lost so the structural firefighters, the ones that usually work in towns and cities, came in to protect the structures and then the wildland firefighters protect the forests and the grasslands. Basically burned all that dead grass and everything. So there's a local resident. get on the road that's already been graded super nice compared to what it was. This one has been all graded so we'll cut to the one that hasn't. So what we're gonna do is turn the pump on. kind of hear that sound then we're going to flip this switch which is the left rear 
And then we can see water coming out back there. We're going to wet this road. You can feel how washboardy it is. This is before it's graded. He's made one pass over there. And we're going to wet it down for him because that makes it easier to grade. We'll see him up here pretty quick. And there's the structure, guys. They're making sure the houses don't burn, obviously. So we had to pull over for them. They're taking precedence over the road thing. That's how wet it looks when we put the gravity dump. That works really well because we really want to soak it down so it's easy for the grader. There he comes. Here comes the grader. Nice, huh? It's gonna be like a super highway when it's all done. So he goes over about three times and comes down the middle and makes it nice and smooth. But it's got to be pretty wet. Not too wet, but damp enough so it's easy to, to grade. There's a bunch of skips. Okay, the day is done. I got home before dark. That's awesome. Because we're on the road crew now. Just want to show you a couple things. Each and every morning on a fire, we have a briefing with various topics such as fire weather, weather behavior, planning, ops, all those things related to the fire and how important it is also to be safe because if someone gets hurt, they're not going to be able to fight fire. We're also given these things, a fire map, and this actually is the town of Warm Springs. The fire line, which is uncontained, is this red mark around here. I actually lived just right here, so that's how close the fire was. So I'm go we're going up this road. So we get these each and every day, just so we know. I'm just checking the fuel. I'm getting some fuel here, some diesel. I don't want it to run over. So we get those maps every day because the fire changes every day. We also get one of these, which is called an Incident Action Plan, or for short, IAP. This outlines each division as the fires broke into divisions and they use the military words like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, that kind of thing. I was on Division Sierra until I was taken off. But this outlines everything on the fire. This is a smaller one to save paper. And it shows where you are and which division you're in. That's printed each and every day as well, because things are subject to change. Just checking that. And wanted to make one mention of the clothing. And oftentimes you see wildland firefighters with yellow and green. It can be very, but most of the time that's the color. Because the clothing is made out of Nomex, which is fire resistant material, so it helps people stay safe. And you have to have it, it's a requirement. In fact, it's a requirement to have two sets in case something happens to one you have a spare. Also boots, hard hat, goggles, ear protection, gloves. Each tank holds 80 gallons. I'll last a while. And this course is the truck I showed you earlier. Love those air horns. Kids love them too. They always do this thing, and then you get to honk and like they, they go crazy. It's awesome. So, done for the day. We'll go back tomorrow. The same plan watering roads, keeping the greater operator happy. And that's the rehab part of fighting fire. That's a clean up the stuff that's damaged from all the traffic. So DIY Duke, let's continue this summer being safe, fire free. Watch those matches. See you next time.